My name is Debra and I'm in fellowship here at Townhead. I want to tell you about my best friend and just one of the many things that he has done for me. His name is Jesus. I became a Christian nearly 40 years ago when I repented of my sins. By doing so, I wasn't promised success in everything I'd done, but I was promised that Jesus would be there for me always. Jesus said in Matthew 28 and 20, and be sure of this, I am with you always, even until the, the end of time. This verse is only one of the many that gives me assurance that no matter what situation I find myself in, I have a saviour who walks with me. <clears throat> I had a change in personal circumstances 21 months ago, which brought back feeling old feelings of failure. Having failed in my marriage, this long-term relationship of 15 years was now no different. Once again, my failure left me feeling emotionally exhausted and very lonely. Although I had felt alone and unhappy for many years, its ending was still failure in my eyes. At the same time, I was, going, I was having to deal with family strife, which required every ounce of mental energy I had, but this was already running in low. The ache of failure was painful. I felt like everything I had done was wrong and everything I was doing wasn't making any difference. The old saying of one step forward and two or three steps back comes to mind. I convinced myself that this was it for me. Loneliness, failure, no hope. I started to believe I was of no use for anything or anyone. I needed help. I needed someone who would help carry my burden. I needed someone strong. In my despair, I cried out to Jesus for help and he heard my cry. Jesus told me, get back up. Even though I was hurting and my world seemed dark and lonely, I was reminded in Psalm 119 verse 105, your word is a lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path. God called me to push through the darkness and hard things. There is grace in getting back up. I needed to once again take heed and listen to God. He reminded me that he knows I fail, that I will fail many, many more times, but that I'm not on my own. By his power, mercy and grace, I am able to get back up time and time again. I am not my own saviour. I needed to humble myself, stay teachable and seek him constantly. By leaning on Jesus, he helped turn my failure into success. He can, he is able, he is trustworthy, and he is faithful. When I thought all was lost, being lonely in a path to nowhere, God stepped in and gave me more than I had asked for. Having had no home church in many years due to traveling to other churches, he has given me a church now to worship him in, with new opportunities to serve him. Having lost friends in the split, he sifted them out and then put the most amazing people in my life who uphold me daily. He gave me the true success he wants for my life. I am experiencing the joy of my salvation all over again. What a friend I have in Jesus. If you feel like you've fallen over in failure, don't stay down there. Come along to Townhead and see what God can do for you also. You have nothing to lose, but you have everything to gain. God bless. This is my testimony from death to life. Cause we share all my story. I'll testify that Jesus Christ the right.